Oh hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Kobe Scrooby. Welcome back to the Muller Powell Muller Powell Principle. You know the spiel. If you don't want to see the ads and or you want to join my private satisfactory server, you can subscribe for five dollars or you can use a Twitch Prime. Or you have to wait and hope you're lucky and someone gifts you a sub. So let's go. I'm tired of saying that whole thing every time. Okay. So. Last night we got through the Mushroom Kingdom and we got into this underground place here. And we have to find those electromagnetic, those EMP cores and put them in. Um and then set them off. Yeah. Hey. Can I open this from this side? Yeah, okay. So I gotta find the things that go inside of these, and then we gotta set them off because the shadow guy's walking around here looking for me. There's another one. There should be three of them. I found one last night before I quit, but it was getting pretty late and I didn't want to get into this last night. Yeah, there he is right there. So, let's do this. Oh, he's right there. Oh, he's right there. Oh, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. No! 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 You're kidding me. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so he kills me. So now that we're back here, let's just go through here. It's strange that you haven't written reports about this world, Harry. I'd ask you why, but you won't give me an answer anyway. It's a busy place, though, with all these artificial structures. Usually you have to report to the dimensional systems when you find worlds like these. Harry, stay out of the shallows. The gravity here is much higher, which I imagine you can already feel. But also, the density of water is much, much lower than normal. If you get into the deep water, you won't be able to swim back up. But Mason won't get you here. The quantum background is very low. In his current state, he can't exist in places like these. So much garbage. Like, if you go out towards the, the ends here, there's piles of garbage. Looks just like Earth. Ah, there's one. Oh no, oh no, oh no, no! Oh, I couldn't jump or move or anything. <sighs> I was dissolved in a corrosive substance. Okay. At least we found one now. It's strange that you haven't written reports about this world, Harry. I'd ask you why, but you won't give me an answer anyway. It's a busy place, though, with all these artificial structures. Usually you have to report to the dimensional systems when you find worlds like these. Hey, right, Zaylin, what's going on? Stay out of the shallows. The gravity here is much higher, which I imagine you can already feel. But also, the density of water is much I thought it said story time again. And I was like, oh, what happened? No. It just says, let's... Back up. But Mason it's stream time. The quantum background is very low. In his current state, he can't exist in places like It's stream time. Alright, so I think it was this way. Yeah. Oh, so I need to find a way to 
to suck that up. I can't even go down there. Okay. Fifty percent sure I had a heart attack. What? What happened? Oh, it's right. Oh, no, it's yeah, it's right there, but I can't go down there. I need to find this the anti-gravity stuff So that's where I detonated the thing in the first place So I've only found one. <coughs> Where's the other two? Left side of chest hurt, shoulder between the shoulder blades, and left side of back still hurts, but not as bad as a few hours ago. Um. Oh, here it is. This is what I need. Um, you gonna go to the doctor? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no! Okay. Go, 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 go! Yes! I did it! I did it! Don't kill me now. Don't kill me now. Come on. Come on. No. Oh my god. <coughs> Get it. No. Oh, yes. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. Holy crap. I just ran out of stuff. I don't know where it is though. Where is the place? <coughs> no, that's not it. Uh, only other possibility was pulled something in my back. I'll find out tomorrow. I took a bunch of pain meds. Doesn't explain why my shoulder and chest hurt. I've had when I breathe in, like my shoulder and like my shoulder blade, would hurt before. <coughs> um, did you like? bruise a rib or something you fall or hit get hit in the ribs damn it where's the thing there Okay, where's two more? This is the only one I've found so far. Let's roll out of bed and go to work. Mm hmm. Did you sleep crooked? It's possible you could have. Oh god! You could have slept crooked and. Shit. Shit. Ha ha! You suck! It's strange that you haven't raised the points about this world, Harry. And it just and like why, is sore? I don't know. Anyway. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Artificial structures. Usually you have to report to the dimensional systems and when you find worlds like these. Harry, stay out of the shallows. In the words of Joe Rogan, I'm not a doctor. I'm a fucking moron. <laughs> Gravity here is much higher, which I imagine you can already feel. But also, the density of water is much, much lower than normal. If you get into the deep water, you won't be able to swim back up. But Mason won't get you here. Oh, God! The background is very low. In his current state, he can't exist in places like these.
I don't know where I don't know where the other ones are. He's still following me. supposed to hit the button oh he's there get him got him how many times do we have to blow this bastard up he's getting stronger with every hour there's one i'm not sure if the atlas prototype would stop him now as it did before but apparently our plan is working as what long it's as in there charges, there's nothing to worry about just keep luring him in traps harry this guy is tenacious. This guy is tenacious. Wait, I don't want to go there. How the hell am I supposed to get in there? Oh, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Uh, I need the fire. So I said 50% sure if it was pulled, the pain should subside in a few hours. Or change to an isolated area instead of all over. If the same spots hurt in the morning, it's possible it was a heart attack. I did eat like 20 mozzarella sticks for lunch. Yeah, but I eat... <laughs> I eat... Uh, chips with like two handfuls of cheese on them every night um so yeah it's not great but i don't know <laughs> i should i should have had a heart attack by now where where the hell do i put this thing Can I put it in the same one? Let me in. Oh, he's right there. Oh my god, go. I don't know which way to go. Shit. Not that way. No! No! Uh! No! No, 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 no! No, let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh no, I can't put it back in the same one? Oh crap. Where are the other ones? Damn it, man. <laughs> uh, it probably, most likely it wasn't, or if it was, it was like a minor one. You know, I feel like if it was, <clears throat> you'd be in worse shape. Like, like you'd know. You'd be like, I'm going to the hospital right now. Damn it, man. Where? I don't know. I don't see the other ones. Shit, he's right there. He's right there. I didn't have time to grab my... Wait, where is he? Oh, he is right there. Ugh! Can't go through that, can you, stupid? Let 
this was the way I came in. Dude, I don't know. Oh, god damn it. I don't know where the other ones are. I wish something would show me. That's that thing. Uh. I pressed it, come on. Oh, there it is, there it is, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, you son of a... You son of a... damn thing oh my god no 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 I better get some more of this when I shoot him with the green stuff it looks like he's wearing a suit it's pretty bad. Cold sweat, common pain spot, nausea from the pain. Short of breath, every movement made it worse. It would end up rewatching me and think. Do you guys have a uh, urgent care there? It's kind of like a doctor's office that that you can just go to. And like my my insurance covers mine. It's like it's usually like it costs me sixty bucks or something. But you can go there and they can like check you out without you having to like make a doctor's appointment. Cause you know when you make a doctor's appointment, it's like you got to make it for like three months out or something. What? Cannot detonate? Why? Why? Nope, nearest clinic, urgent care, specialist hospital is at least 15 minutes away. Uh, what about... I've never done it before, but there's like those teledoc things like uh, uh, the only one that comes to mind at the moment is ZocDoc that I've that I've heard of. I've, I haven't used them. I've done a video call with my own doctor before. Um, but you should probably make an appointment. You know, I know it's going to this is America and it's going to put you in the debt for the next 50 years. But if it is something, it's better to get checked out, you know? Because if it is something and it comes back, it might come back worse next time. That would be, that would be my advice to get it checked out. But I know, I know it costs a lot. And I know you and me and most people around here don't have, you know, a lot of disposable income. But I feel like this is an important one, you know? Detonate aborted condition specified in custom script. What? 
Why can't it detonate? Do I have to bring him over there? If if we lived in any in any other country, you'd just be like, yeah, I'm going to the doctor. I'll be back later. <laughs> the most it would cost you is like transportation to get there. But no, since this is America, you got to take out a 30 year mortgage to pay the doctor. I think I got to get I think I got to get him in here. Where are you, Shadow Boy? Hmm? Hmm? Bring it on. Also, why couldn't it, it detonate? Is it just because he's not here? I think I just got lucky last time and he was in the right room. Come here. Come here. Where is this fucking guy? I hear you. Come this way. I don't want you to go this way because I gotta go through here. Oh! Oh, he was almost there! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'm going to push a button. We're gonna. Wait, are you in here? Oh, he's in here! Oh, shit! No, 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 no! No! I went to check and make sure so I didn't waste it. Please tell me that it's saved after the first uh, one. How many times do we have to blow mm, this boss okay. up? He's getting stronger with every hour. I'm not it sure did. if the Atlas prototype would stop him now as it did before, but apparently our plan is working. As long as we have charges, there's nothing to worry about. Just keep luring him in traps, Harry. Damn, this guy is tenacious. I was afraid that it didn't save and I would have to do the first one over again. Which I would be, I might be mad enough that I might play a different game. <laughs> Woo. Oh, let me melt this window. Actually, I want to melt that one. And I want to melt this one. And I want to melt that one. Um, and now we got an extra open door. We got a extra open door policy here. Oh yeah, now nah, look at that. I can go. Oh wait, that's not where I want to go. Uh, there we go. Now we got shortcuts. Now I can just jump through here. Put that in there. Okay, I want him to come this way. Yeah, there he is. Hold on, hold on. Give me a second. I don't have my green stuff that stops him. Go 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 no 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 go 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 Come on come on come on come on come on come on you're too slow Bink 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 Oh yeah Three shots. Hit the shadow with orange energy three times. The path to the lab is clear now. I got an itemized bill from when I was in hospital for other reasons. Each night costs twelve hundred. Each meal costs three hundred, and then various other charges for other things. On the bright side, two years from now that debt will be wiped. Uh, most expensive hotel. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the hell my parents did when I was a kid and I had my appendix. My appendix burst, and I was in the hospital. What does Mason even want from Harry? Since when did I become an expert on CEO Powell's behavior? Well, you're so very confident when it comes to fighting him. Are you sure you don't have anything else to tell us? If Harry gets his memory back, he'll be able to tell you everything himself. For now, what's important is that Mason is after Harry, and that Harry can rid the world of oh, Mason. Oh, there it is. I was in the hospital for like, I don't know, 15, 20 days or so. And then I got to go home and the and the, the the incision was still open because when my appendix burst there was and there was stuff inside me 
and it, it was supposed to drain and it wasn't draining all the way. So I had to go back and they had to do surgery again. Uh, so I was in the hospital for like a total of 30 days. So I don't know. I don't know what my parents did. <laughs> they must, uh, they must've had badass insurance or else they're still paying for it now from when I was eight, 30 years ago. Maybe they had good insurance. I don't know. Not dropping 10 K. Um, yeah, that's why urgent cares are, are cool. There's like, uh, there's one close to my house. Like, for example, if I wake up and my my throat is sore and I need to see if I have strep throat to see if I can stay home from work, I can go or you know, whatever. And they can write they can check you out and do tests and give you prescriptions and stuff. And then it costs like you know, it might not even be sixty. I don't know. You know, somewhere between twenty and sixty bucks somewhere. Ah, uh, no. Oh, wait. That's one that I already did. Oh, that's where we came in. When he was chasing me. Am I supposed to go exit? Am I supposed to go this way? Oh, that's where I came in. Okay, we gotta go this way. Boop, 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 I have a feeling the shadow guy is going to be back for me. Hmm? <laughs> What's with all the penises? All right, here we go. Ohio needed a note for work. He charged you a hundred bucks. Fuck that. <laughs> I've went to the urgent care before and they would ask me, do you need a note for work? Um, and usually I don't. My boss trusts me not to, not to be bullshitting him. Oh, there's those green crystals. I needed those before. <clears throat> what? Oh, off world facility. That's when I decided screw notes if I'm sick and sick. You wanna fire me? Yeah. Yeah, why well, you need to know? Are you in like are you are you in like sixth grade? You know? You're an adult. <laughs> now, if the doctor says you need to take a week off of work, then I could see them being like, I need a letter from the doctor. But still, but still, it doesn't matter, right? Either you're using your vacation or you're taking time off without pay. They can't make you come to work, you know. <laughs> Be like, I'm an adult. I do what I want. <laughs> Just started saying that. A HIPAA violation, eh? Hey, huh? Yeah. Well. Oh, oh no. It can't break the shell and get inside, can it? It's behaving quite unusually. Under different circumstances, I'd insist on cross-analyzing the data. Sadly, right now we have other matters what to worry about. What the crap? Oh, that's the islands. It would be a HIPAA violation if if your employer wanted that wanted them to tell wanted the doctor or you to tell them exactly 
What's going on? The doctor can't tell anybody what your medical condition is unless you tell them they can. But the doctor can say, I recommend that this guy takes uh, six months off of work paid paid leave. <laughs> Alright, so we got a Jenny. Serving window control. Okay. Oh, Jenny goes right there. Cooker power? Taco cooker. What? You have to. Okay, so if you're cooking. Like, okay, I'm gonna cook now. I gotta go over here, and then go into go into files, and then to cooker, and then click this in order to turn the stove on. That's ridiculous. That'd be insane if the doc could recommend paid leave. <laughs> you know, if I was a doctor, I would totally do that. <clears throat> like if someone comes in, they got strep throat, and you know, whatever it is, you're, you're, you're not contagious after two days or something. I would write the note, the letter and say like, this person is contagious for two days. And I recommend a uh, two day paid leave. <laughs> I would write stuff like that because <laughs> you know, Best case scenario, the idiot <coughs> office person at your job reads it and says, oh, okay. Um, the worst that could happen is they say, we're not paying you. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I know my, at least my boss would find that funny. Um, you know what? We need... If you want to move to Colorado, we need um, what they call a lot uh, a lot technician, and they basically like I don't know sweep and clean and take out the garbage and take care of the the parking lot and you know do odd jobs and stuff, uh, whatever needs to be done. You seem you seem more qualified than than that, but we do need somebody. They hired two people. Well, they had one guy that did it when I started, uh, and eventually he quit. And then they hired a guy who worked there for like a couple months, and then he quit. And then they hired another guy who worked there for like one day, and then he quit. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. 40 uh, full paid sick leave. That's just sick though, right? That doesn't include vacation. Mine? I get 40 hours of time off. That includes everything. Vacation, sick, whatever. Any time that, I, that I'm not at work and I want to get paid, it's just, the, it's just 10 days. That's it. So this year, I've already spent at least two of those going to the damn dentist. Um, you know, half day here, half day there, a couple hours there. And then I'm probably going to have to spend the rest of them at least a week moving stuff from this house to my new house and getting stuff set up, you know, moving stuff in, getting stuff set up, going to the store, buying crap that I don't have. Dude, I had everything when I lived in my apartment. I had everything. I had glasses, um, bowls, plates, silverware, pots and pans, knives, Tupperware. And it's all just kind of melted in together here. And now, now what? 
I steal a, a couple plates from here and then I, I think I got a couple like I think I know my silverware I don't know how many of them are left but I might have to go get a lot of that stuff don't make, get vacation at all you know, if I worked in the office I would get holidays PTO more sick leave why does it matter if you work in the office or not you know What's the lot tech pay? Uh, I don't know. If I had to, uh, I don't know. I would just be throwing a number out there. I. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I want to say. I want to say it's got to be at least 20, right? But it might be like anywhere between 20 and 25. I have no idea, though. I'm just I'm just completely guessing. So what? a secret here oh I can't put those in the portal yeah oh uh oh whoops I got sucked in Fifteen based off average in Colorado I think that I think minimum wage here is 15 if I remember what the papers there's a poster on the wall in the hallway at work that says, or in the lunchroom or in the hallway, I think it's 15. So there's blood on the towel. The mirror's broken because they don't want to do reflections. Um, there's blood in the shower. There's blood on the carpet. Yeah, I don't know. That's why <clears throat> I'm just completely guessing. Ooh, I found the key. Oh, that's a picture from the trailer. So that key is going to be for this hallway. Oh, wait, does that let me out? Mm. Hold on. I'm not ready for that yet. I didn't mean to go in there. Or is that the only thing to do here? I thought that there would be... <laughs> Why is there a light flashing <laughs> in the sink? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's right there. It's it's coming out of the laundry basket. No, it's just coming through the wall. Um... I'm guessing I need this. Hmm. I can't do that one. Why 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 do I want to open this? And why would I want to switch this over? I don't really I don't really understand. Oh that's what the door is. Oh, what the hell just happened? You see that? Was that the door that shot? What the hell happened? Anyway, that's why I need to move this. Because that gives power to this. I got my fire now. And we're going. Problem is guaranteeing a job, finding money to move. Figuring out how to move and then money for the first two months just in case things don't go accordingly. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> the only time I've ever moved was I moved from, well, I mean states. I've moved from Illinois to Colorado, or to Illinois to Wyoming, 
and then Wyoming to here. And I moved here because when I was in college in Wyoming, I came down here to Colorado Mustang to get parts for my 67 Mustang. And I saw it's, it's a parts store. They have the biggest Mustang junkyard in the world. And uh, I saw that they had a shop in the back. So I went back there and talked to the owner of the restoration shop. They're two different businesses, um, both Mustang stuff. Um, and he said, yeah, come on down and start working. So I, uh, I went back to, to Wyoming and I canceled my last class, which was going to be upholstery, which was going to take three year or three months. I canceled it and then I moved here. So I did have a job lined up, but I didn't have any money because my wife had just left and overdrafted our bank accounts like $4,000. <laughs> um, so probably thanks to my parents, I was able to move. Well, also I, I lived in a trailer. I bought a trailer to live in while for a year while I was in college. And then before I left, I sold it. And then I got the money from selling it. That's probably what got me here. It's probably like a couple $3,000 or so. I don't remember. But man, in, in 2007, my first apartment here was, was $850 a month. And I was making $11 an hour. <laughs> I wanted a nice one because I was moving here by myself, didn't know anybody. I'm like, I want a nice apartment so that when I meet people, I can bring them to a nice place. I didn't meet anybody except psychos to bring to that place where I live there. For this one song that could be relatable right now, what's that? Oh, by the way, I got a, I got a claim on this game i don't know it must have been from a few days ago we watched the the tiktok or the clip where the girl's eyebrows like she accidentally shaved her eyebrows off i got claimed for that video so i'm like cool i'll just trim it out right i can't because oh it's dishonest i didn't even i didn't even read it it was just Zalen here, so I thought it was the same person. What's going on, man? So I I just trim those those things out when that happens. But the cutoff for the length is six hours. Under six hours, you can do stuff like mute the audio, trim things out automatically. So I'm like, what? I don't remember doing a six hour stream. I always, I always end it before six hours. So I looked at the time. It's six hours and one minute. <laughs> like, shit. How did that happen? I always, always end the stream before six hours. Anyway. So not so fortunate. Dad in a nursing home, mom couldn't care less. Most of my family don't contact unless they want anything. But God forbid I need something. See, I don't I don't know how <coughs> I don't know how parents can be like that with their kids, you know? Like not even acknowledge their existence anymore or help them when they need stuff. <clears throat> can she just download and trim it manually yes but when you download stuff from youtube it only downloads at like 30 megabits per second so it's going to take hours and then i'm going to trim out one minute and then i'm going to spend eight hours rendering it 
and then another six hours to upload it <laughs> just to trim out just to trim out one minute you know i'm doing it but it sucks stupid stupid rule youtube unless it was the one video that i told that story of when i accidentally shaved my eyebrow off as a kid it was the girl in the sitting in the car with with the guy and she's like all right you can't laugh and then he was calling her you look like uh voldemort's daughter <laughs> this dimension is unstable it could collapse especially if you help it a bit are we then in the back anomaly will form in its place we could use a source of positive quantum energy you know oh i can't go back uh oh oh no I hope I don't run out of fire. Are we in the back rooms now? Hmm. Damn it, I closed the door. And now if I run out of fire, I can't go back. And then I waste the fire. Why are these lights so loud? So she said this dimension's unstable, it might collapse. Why'd that cl clip get claimed? Um, just whoever, whoever made or owns the video decided that if I'm going to watch their video <clears throat> on my video, then they, then they want my money, <laughs> which good job. They're going to get like eight cents, but whoa, it landed on the, oh man, I'm so good at this. Ah. Uh... I don't imagine any of these are going to open. I don't know. It's probably something stupid like like it was a skit by an actual company or something that they made a TikTok. So then the company actually owns the rights to it or something stupid. But also if if a YouTuber makes the video and I watch it um and they don't like that I watched it, they can just claim it also. Unless, unless I'm, unless it falls under fair use where I'm not watching it. I'm not just sitting here watching it. I'm stopping, I'm pausing it and giving commentary on it. That's fair use. But I talked about it a little bit, but basically I just sat there and watched it. So. I don't think one, I don't think I would have an argument for fair use and two, I'm not going to court for it because it's not worth the 10 cents. I'm going to make off that stream. <laughs> Dude, hotels and stuff don't do that. Is that because we're in the back rooms that it's all, Oh wait, what? Wait, we're over here now. Dude, I, I, this is the door that I went to. When, remember when I shot the fire at the book? And this door was locked. So I went this way. And when I went down in the door at the end, I came out of this door. Do I even need to try all these? I feel like I do. But I also feel like they're all going to be locked. But if I don't check them, then one's going to be unlocked. Where did this room come from? Why am I in this hotel? Or I mean in some strange yeah. version of a crazy messed up hotel. Maybe because of Harry's so-called imagination. Our hero couldn't come up with anything better. 
Either this place, or rather the prototype of this place, is taken from Harry's mind. Something memorable. There was a picture on the wall. It was this red room with the couches. See, the dimension is playing games with you. It's not a mirror. We can start by melting this glass. For once, we're lucky that the great Harry Herman can't do without New York steak on the weekends, which he cooks himself. What? Look, it's not a mirror. Watch, watch in the mirror. Watch when the door opens. Look who's there. Nobody. <laughs> yeah, I just saw this room in a in a picture in the hallway. Um. Yeah. Someone was drinking blood out of their coffee cup. Is there anything else in here? Leave me alone. Private room. Bye bye. That's awesome. Bought an entire point and click horror saga today for like 22 bucks. Oh, look, it's the same. Wait, it was just a window? Wait. What? Dude, look at that. There's no glass here. That is cool. <laughs> now I'm scared. Oh, now there's two pipes. But there has to be some logic at work here, right? My guess is we need to find the exit. Try to follow oh. the exit signs. Stasis? Stasis. Point, I like point and click games. Oh, follow the exit. I got a bunch of point and click games that... Oh my god. Are you kidding me right now? Did you see that? I'm watching it on my, my phone. Door won't open. Turn around. <laughs> yeah, I like point and click games. I haven't, I, there was, there was a, a time when I was really into them and I was playing a whole bunch of them and, and I bought a bunch cause they're, they're normally really cheap. Uh, for the most part. And then I played a bunch of them and I didn't get to a bunch of them. Finally a way out. Or not. It's just another weird thing. Looks like Harry's into math too. It's a nightmarish version of the elementary school arithmetic book. Also, that one game that official used to tell me to play, it was like, uh, like a Harry, bike. What you're seeing is the result of a quantum distortion of space. Your level of entanglement, Earth's average, is well above normal for this dimension. What? So, to the inhabitants of this dimension, Harry has become like the, like the, the, the creature. No chairs. Us? I doubt there's life in this world, but because of Harry's level of quantum entanglement, it sort of adjusts to his perception. In uh... a sense, he's altering this reality, or even shaping it. So. What happens if a person, I mean a normal person like Harry, I see. goes into a dimension where there's no quantum entanglement, where the mule level is zero? Those kinds of places don't exist. They simply can't. Not in our multiverse, at least. Anyway, what's more important is that to close this realm, Harry has to kind of trick his mind, bypass his own logic, create a paradox. So, <clears throat> oh yeah, that, I don't remember what it was called. It was like a Viking point and click game or something. Uh, I got a horror one called Alpha Polaris that I bought years ago and never played. Okay, so I think this is how this works. There's three chairs in here. And to open this door, there has to be no chairs. 
So every time I go through a door, it's going to change the amount of chairs. If I go through this one, it'll be minus two chairs, so it'll be one. Oh, and then I could go plus three. Oh no, four, five. Yeah, minus two, so it'll be one, plus four, so there'll be five, and then minus five. I'm gonna do that. Here we go, minus two. Okay. So then, oh my god, it changed. Oh no, it didn't. Okay, so now I need to go plus four. Dude, I'm so good at this. So now we got five. And now I want minus five. Dude, they totally could have done that. Like, you have it all planned out, and then when you go through a door and you come in here, these are different. That would have been... That would have been a asshole move, though. So now we have zero chairs, and now I can go this way. <laughs> that was cool. Uh-oh. No chairs. No chairs. Now what? Oh... Uh... Yeah, I got this. You can't trick me. Actually, you can. What? How are you supposed to get there? Look, there's no door. There's no door to get up there. <laughs> Alright, I'm scared. Welcome. Stasis? I want to see what that is. Um, and as long as I'm doing that, I'm going to run a three minute ad break. If you don't want to see the ads, you can subscribe for $5 or for free with a Twitch prime. You could also join my private satisfactory server. That's for subscribers only. So if you have an Amazon prime account connected to your Twitch account, you'll get a free prime subscription. You can join a server for free. You won't have to see any ads because otherwise you got to be lucky and wait for someone to gift you a sub. So I'm going to run a three minute ad break. That's going to shut off pre-roll ads for the next hour. I'm going to watch a trailer for Stasis and see if it's uh, one that I like. So here's the three minute ad break now. So yeah, like these. Flight of the Amazon. Uh, I got a whole bunch of them. Can I just search? Uh, point and click. What? Point. Oh, ampersand. Yeah, I got. I got this many. Dude, Deponia. Deponia was so good. I made videos of it many years ago. Uh, uh, the dark eye chains of set satina satinov. That was good. I played some of these off stream cyanide and happiness. I never finished curse of monkey Island. The council. I keep a while ago. I was trying to, when I was streaming on YouTube, I was trying to play that. We got broken sword. One, two, three, four, four. Four, five. Never played any of those. Broken pieces. I never finished. <gasps> Wait, I got this. I forgot. I need to play this. 学校里到处生机勃勃，老师和蔼可亲，同学们互相帮助。杨校长经验丰富，在他的感恩治疗下，我有了明显的进步。我热爱这里。这里的人就没有一个不想早点离开。Anyway, I forgot that I bought this. It must have been on sale.
I need to play that. And then you have to make choices. Help or leave. Stuff like that. Uh, what else do we got? Bloodshore was cool. Black Sad I never played. Never played that one. Never played that one. Never played that one. We played this one. That was good. Never played that one. Never played that one. We played that one. I made YouTube videos of this many, many years ago. We played that one. Alpha Polaris, that's the horror one. Alfred Hitchcock Vertigo, we played that. That was good. Anyway, what was I doing? I was looking up uh, Stasis. $2. Alright, well that didn't show me anything. It was cheaper to buy the bundle. This isn't my ship. You have no idea how much mercy I have. Cut his wrist. The morals of men don't apply to gods. This is torture. This is science. There's moving in there. I wish I would have gotten to see more gameplay than just the guy walking through the door. That looks interesting. And then I got a bunch more on GOG. I got, I got King's Quest. I got Space Quest. Like the whole collections of them. I got Torn's Passage, which I'm going to play on stream one day. Torrance Passage is one of my favorite games from my childhood. A little short. Three hours. So that means it should only take me like six or eight hours. That looks cool. It's on sale for two seventy one. Where's Deluxe edition is that the does that have all of them? Stasis art book soundtrack no. This must be it. It's twenty twenty one something. Oh, here's gameplay. Puzzles. Stasis. Upgrade. Kane? Is that the sequel? Free to play isometric adventure. the prequel beautiful desolation I'm guessing this is the sequel bone totem overwhelmingly positive it doesn't say like this is the sequel So this one says it's free, but it costs four fifty. 
<laughs> I don't I don't want the deluxe upgrades and stuff. So if I were to get stasis and then Kane and Beautiful Desolation. This one came out May 31st. That's a new one. So this is the sequel. I don't know what this one is then. Bone Totems. So we got the game, the prequel, the sequel. 12.79 is the most expensive. So 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, it'd still be $21. It would cost the same if I just got these three than if I just got the whole the whole package, which cost 22. All right, well, I'm gonna put it on my wish list so I don't forget about it. And uh, yeah, one of these days, I'm gonna get back into point and click games and we're gonna play a bunch of them. I don't want them either, so it's just like, get the bundle. What's your biggest turnoff in guys? That's right, it's time for another one of these. Probably when they don't work out. Go to oh, the really? And stuff. Yeah. When they don't work out? Do you work out? <laughs> So what do you guys prefer in a guy? Really rich, really black, at least 6'5". 6'5"? 6'5"? No. Lots of money, really. Yeah. Like a, a yacht and stuff? Yeah, yeah. That kind of thing, huh? You can buy me fancy things, take me on trips, pay my rent. I like... Between men or women. I like her eyes. I like... I like girls with dark hair and blue eyes. She looks better here than she did. Oh no, okay. She's got, maybe it was cause she's got like some kind of gray going on. I thought she was older, but now she doesn't look as old. Anyway. <laughs> Between men or women, who has a harder life? Absolutely women. Bleed from uh, week a month. We are f we're sexualized everywhere we go. Yeah, like cat called. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. The parking you guys are? tried to steal me before. Not me. Anyone tried to steal you today? <laughs> we can. Based on that, I'm starting to think that there might be a different version of reality for every person. I'm surprised her voice was so low. That girl's face was so big that, like, her chin, uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to say anything about anything because I am not the example for the healthiest person either. So, I myself am overweight. So, Zayla, and I read your last message. Now that we watched that video with the big girls that want rich guys that are 6'5", and your message says, I don't want them either. So I was just like, I'll get the bundle. <laughs> the bundle comes with both of them. The woman you were subtly hitting on is a men's advocate. Let's go. Dude, I should message her. How old, okay, so how old do you think she is, right? I am a horrible, I'm horrible at guessing ages. What's your biggest turnoff in guys? She's got to be somewhere between 20 and 40.
I can't, I, I cannot, I cannot tell if someone's 20 or 40. I'm so bad at it. Oh, oh, let me show you this. So, um, the company that did Colock, they do a lot of like visual effects and studio setup, uh, for live streams and shows and stuff like that. Uh, the only thing I don't like about her are her political leanings. Oh, is she Republican? Anyway, um, so Hyper RPG that did Colock. This was on their Twitter. They they did like a tech demo. Republican, but I don't think she's MAGA. Um so this is the kind of stuff they do now. Like actually, let me read what it says. Had an open house. There's a little VP demo to show off what you can do with a small volume and 100% live VFX and output using OBS and free shaders. So, so they made all of this with OBS and free software. All of this was made with free software. I like older, petite, not Gorloth the Destroyer. <laughs> if I, I think I said this before, but if I was gonna, if I was gonna go on a dating app or something, I, I think I would probably look my age Maybe plus or minus five. Maybe that's too much. I don't know. Gorlock. Oh. <laughs> so anyway, so they made this with a guy sitting on a rock and everything else was made with OBS and other free software. And that guy is the driver from Kolok. He's the he's the game master. He owns the company. Looks like they got a fan too. <laughs> anyway, that's it. It was just a, a real quick, a real quick demo. Came up with a fantastic idea for a women's wrestling match. If you remember Jello fights, replace the Jello with skincare cream. It looks like inspired by Dune. Maybe that's what I, how it kind of looks. Um, yeah, then you don't have to put on lotion. You just get in it and your whole body's in it. <laughs> lotion. Okay, so I came in here. Man, I ran the ad break 18 minutes ago. How'd that happen? What the hell? That cannot be safe. People are going to trip on this. Cool. Outside's right there. The door's locked. Just break the window. All right, this is why it takes me four times as long to finish games. We get distracted. Okay, well, this is just getting weirder. The more paradoxical the reality, the closer we get to creating a real logical paradox.
could have men wrestle too, but I think some men would use the lotion. <laughs> Data one chick and her humor was missing so bad it was disgusting. I even tried dry humor stuff that most people would laugh at. That's not funny. She also hated their humor. I was just like, okay, this ain't gonna work then. <laughs> okay, you have to go. <laughs> oh, really? Ah! All right, what color did I go to? These are purple, purple, blue. I like blue. Back then, when he gave me the coordinates and asked me to open the portal of the agreed time, he said he was done with Delta. This was supposed to be the last favor he asked of me. He said he'd found a way to bypass Delta security and reunite with his family, with Grace and Christy. Oh, Maybe hello. this place is an echo of his dream? Uh, I mean, he was obsessed with some family vacation. Yeah, amazingly romantic, don't you agree? Even without these creepy loops, it's not the best place to spend time with the family. But overall, maybe it works that way. I'm telling you this to remind Harry that he has things to live for. Good dads don't go missing in mysterious dimensions. When you get to Atlas, Harry, you'd better go home. They're waiting for you, on Earth. Mason's waiting for him on Earth, too. And I don't know when we'll have a better opportunity to get rid of him once and for all. 8.05. This room would be cooler if there was no door. <laughs> That's a nice view out of the hotel room there. <clears throat> so why is this not colored blue like everything else? Black and white universe. Have her wrestle in the moisture. Moisturizer match. Oh, wait. These are turned. Oh, wait, they're not turned anymore. What? Why? All right. All right, now we're in the green room. Okay. Okay. Red, yellow, blue. Do I have to put this in the green room? Oh, I gotta put the stuff in the right places maybe? This doesn't go in here. Oh, there you go. You okay?
I guess I don't know if I'm doing this right. Lola Glaudini? Claims Johnny Depp called her a fucking idiot. To be fair, she has no evidence. <laughs> the only evidence you have is you saying it. I don't know who Lola Glaudini is. Okay. So this one's black and white. Oh, these are l light now. Oh. So I guess I did it right. Ah, you suck. Claiming it publicly with no evidence just sets you up for a defamation lawsuit with no evidence. So if he did say it, maybe he was right. Oh, now I'm in the room. Oh, no. Yeah, in order to prove defamation, you have to prove that the person knew that what they were saying was false. So, if he, she says that he called her a fucking idiot, and if she says that that's defamation, wait, he says, no, she says that he defamed her by calling her a fucking idiot, she would have to prove that he doesn't think she's a fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, okay. What are we, what am I doing? Do I gotta go? She said we have a quantum energy source? Is it a jellyfish mushroom in its infancy? It hasn't grown enough yet. It's currently in its rapid energy conversion stage. Maybe we can use it to get some gravitons. All we have to do is get quantum energy and charge its crystals. Charge its crystals with quantum energy. Welcome. I congratulate the entire staff on the start of Project Photon. You have the challenging task of transforming a secondary base into our most advanced innovative facility. 
Before the project began, this complex served as a space for Delta Labs to experiment. This place we call, with our inherent humor, the Mushroom Kingdom, was not always the same as you know it, as you see it today, as you see it now. It was here that your predecessors received evidence that the other order, planets, land, water mass, could be easily distorted and defragmented thanks to more fundamental physical principles based on the quantum nature of things. This is the place that gave origins to the foundation of the concept of the influence of the level of quantum entanglement of a dimension on the appearance of reality. <sighs> From now on, I leave you at wise supervision by Dr. Harry Herman, that's me, a pioneer in the quantum properties of G-spot crystals who brought us the G-spot field. Your task is to make manipulation of any kind of energy we know of easy to handle and reasonably inexpensive. Your first goal is to develop a portal device that absorbs, stores, and directs the energy of different types for the U.S. Department of Defense. Later, if successful, a device for civilian use should be developed on its platform, of course, with reduced and safer fun functionality and a clear market promotion model because the public can't be trusted with anything. For my part, I am committed to ens ensuing, ensuring proper funding for the Photon Project. The location for the new headquarters has also was also chosen for a reason. The caves in the mines below contain the largest known deposit of G-spot crystals. Since G-spot crystals are the key to the invention, I consider it a fortunate coincidence that will make it much easier to set up the upcoming work processes. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, and you have already taken the first step. Welcome, Pioneer CEO Mason Powell. Speaking of pioneers, uh, Light Year Pioneer, is that what it's called? It just came out today, I think. I played a, oh shit. I played a demo for it during uh, Steam Next Fest. It's multiplayer. Uh, it is not on sale, though. Light Year Pioneer or Light Year Frontier. This one where you're in the mech. And you got to build stuff and collect stuff and clean up the the bad stuff. This is at least up to 4 players, I think. This game I will definitely be buying eventually uh, because I liked it a lot uh, with up to three friends. So it's four player. But at the moment it is on sale, but it costs $20. So I will probably wait for it to be cheaper. Also, there's a bundle with Planet Crafter, which I haven't played. Oh no, am I going to have to play this too? Looks like Subnautica. Maybe it could be good. There's a demo. Why don't I just download the demo and I'll try it one day. Uh, are you saying G-Spot Crystals on purpose? Yeah. I've been saying it the whole game. <laughs> uh, I'll wait for a bundle on 
fanatical or humble or a better sale. Yeah, me too. I, I definitely want this game and I'm definitely going to buy it, but I haven't paid $20 for a game. I can't remember. I know I paid I know I paid more than twenty dollars for Resident Evil Village. Yeah, I don't even remember how long it's been since I bought a game that was twenty dollars or more. Everything I buy is is twenty dollars or less. So yeah. Um I'll I'll wait till we can find it somewhere. It's probably worth twenty dollars. It's just that I'm I'm a cheapskate. That pause made me think my phone froze. Oh, pausing the the uh, trailer. If I'm gonna spend twenty dollars on an early access, it better be a really good game that has raving reviews, or that I'm interested in, or I gotta have at least two other games included. So I always. I always kind of compare it to I bought the original Ark. I bought it for $20 and then I played it for over a thousand hours. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to compete with that. But yeah, I usually don't buy anything unless it's on sale. Unless it's like a big name. Oh, Resident Evil 4 Remake. That was probably 40, right? If I remember. That's probably the last time I bought a, a game for more than $20. Grace. They gave me my own lab. For my personal project. They're still working on my personal office, though. So for now, I'm working from this dark room. But that doesn't matter. I'm finally getting recognition for my oh recognition recognition for my experiments. I knew there was a reason I named my crystals after you. <laughs> my G-spot crystals. I never stopped believing that it would bring good luck to all of us, you, me, and little Christy. It's going to be a little rough at first. I won't be able to come home as often. But then, once we're up and running, things will pick up. I promise. Miss you. Give Christy a kiss for me. Yours, Harry. Oh, is this my wife and my daughter? Was it 60? Okay. I don't remember. Yeah, unless it's something like that that I, that I know is going to be good and I want to play right away, then I get them for pretty cheap. I'm pretty cheap on them. <clears throat> Harry, what's happening to you right now is, wait, what's happening to you right now is all about you. This stuff about your G-spot crystals, your G-spot field, it's bullshit. It's about you and your desire to immortalize something, to prove something to somebody. Christy and I need you at home every night. When did you get so selfish? Can't you see what has happened to you? When you joined Delta, you were young, talented scientist. A little hesitant, maybe. Insecure, like all young fathers. Yes, you had ambition, but your mind was always with us. With me. It's not even about the job and extra hours, Harry. It's about what it represents to you. It's not a means to make money. It's not an opportunity for self-fulfillment. It's your crusade to prove you're a genius. I don't need a genius. I want my Harry. <laughs> the Harry who didn't have his own lab or his own project and who thought about experiments and physical properties. You know what the difference is? You were fun to listen to. You talked about amazing things and fantasized about changing the world. And for the last two weeks, all you've been talking about is funding. About, about Christy and I. About Christy and I are moving to Cali 
and have a house there in Santa Barbara. You're not with us. As the naming goes, I'm somewhat... I'm somewhat more like a G-spot to you. Hey, she said it this time. A G-spot. That's what it says. <laughs> Do what you think is right. <laughs> Just please watch out for Mason. Remember what I said the first time you brought home, brought him to dinner? That man is obsessed. Obsession spreads like a disease, Harry. Once you get it, you're done. Love, Grace. The only time I bought a full price game in the last three years has been Dragon's Dogma 2 because I wanted to pre order. Otherwise, it's at least 5% off. Speaking of Dragon's Dogma 2, preload drops tomorrow, so when game actually drops, I'll be good to go. I looked at that one. I think it. I think that I thought it looked interesting. Oh, I thought I was going to have to go get fire and blow these windows out. So what do I got to do? I got to get quantum energy. Search for G-spot crystals, drains quantum particles, converts to small gravitons, detaches. Maybe we can use it to get some gravitons. All we have to do is get quantum energy and charge its crystals. Well, how do I do that? Wrapping up work. All right. She said we found quantum energy. Where is it? Oh, is it this? Oh. I thought that was just the portal. Okay. Now what? What does this one do? Gravitons? I'm not sure what to do with this. You can't escape, Mushroom. My god, this place is a mess. The facility was completely evacuated when the 747 launched. Looks like the way to the Atlas is barricaded, though. Or I don't know why anyone would do that. Anyway, there's no chance we can move all this cargo. If we had negative gravitons, we could. Take a look around, Harry. There's gotta be something here. Huh, I can't find any. Oh, look, there's some. Passage 1, Crew Quarters G-Spot Crystal Lab. Oh! 
He named the crystals after her. Her name is Grace. That's why they're G-spot crystals. Oh no, is the damn shadow guy going to come back? The power of G-spot field. The halo projector was one of the first devices based on the G-spot crystal technology. Currently serving as a monument, it demonstrates the colossal, colossal, colossal. <laughs> I don't know. That word just looks weird. I don't know if I've seen that written or it's been a long time. Colossal scientific achievement of our great scientist, Harry Herman. With G-spot field, we will bend energy to our will. Is that just a projector? Why are the exit doors always locked in games? make stuff fly oh what oh really okay Where's that centipede? Here, Harry was learning how to extract energy from the crystal in the form of a directed beam. I wonder, Harry, will you figure out how to make use of your own invention, or will you just act randomly as usual? Well, why are you always so mean? Do you not realize that this is why people don't like to talk to you? It's hard for me to conclude how far Harry has progressed in his research, but look, the portable energy manipulator that saved Harry's life more than once just today is much more portable than the prototype device back in his lab. That's real progress. What are these devices? Oh, if Harry remembered, he talked to you for hours about his energy siphons. Basically, we can see the evolution of Dr. Herman's genius here. This is where he experimented with his G-crystals, filling them with different kinds of energy. Do you not realize this is why people don't want to talk to you? <laughs> oh, wait, what? Oh, interesting. Watch this one woman on TikTok say, "Where all? Where are all the emotionally connected men? Men today don't know how to be emotionally connected." And have a complete misunderstanding of what women mean by the term emotionally connected. You see, being emotionally connected to us means you know how to sexually satisfy a woman. I was like, who the hell taught you what emotionally connected means? <laughs> Yeah, those are like two different things you're talking about, lady. Uh, I think I need to go back and get some fire. Emotionally connected. Can I take this? Shit. Uh, I gotta go get some fire. I got cut in half. Emotionally is not the same as sexually. Oh, that wasn't there before. Alright, so I got a problem. I gotta go get the fire. 
But if I bring fire over, I have to use this to suck up this. So I'll have to get rid of my fire. Uh, emotionally. Extract energy from the crystal in the form of a directed beam. I wonder, Harry, will you figure out how to make use of your own invention, or will you just act randomly as usual? Oh, why are you always so mean? Do you not realize that this is why people don't like to talk to you? It's hard for me to conclude how far Harry has progressed in his research, but look, the portable energy manipulator that saved Harry's life more than once just today is much more portable than the prototype device back in his lab. Oh, I didn't That's see this. Real progress. Yeah, epic victory over the project budget. Specimen, radioactive isotope, danger toggles, container with a sample of radioactive material, expected range of absor absorbed photons, x-ray to gamma. I can toggle specimen. Uh, specimen 2 flamethrower emits high temperature flame jet by releasing pressurized combustible substance. Expects a range of absorbed, absorbed photons microwave to visible light. 3. Spotlight. These are all the things that I can suck up with my gun. Toggles the spot. Wait, maybe. Expected range of, absorb of absorbed photons visible light. Photon Project Test 128 Experimental Stationary Energy Siphon Use this tool to aim the siphon at the required specimen and perform photon absorption. talked to you for hours about his energy siphons. Basically, we can see the evolution of Dr. Herman's genius here. This is where he experimented with his G-crystals, filling them with different kinds of energy. I can't get that. Where do these crystals go? So I got these guys. Oh. We got black crystals. What do I need to do? So here, I'll go to flamethrower. Okay. 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 That's where I get the fire. Give me that. Oh, are you kidding me? That was my whole plan, was to go out this window. Because I can't get out of here with it. See, I lost it. Alright. Uh, a spotlight. What if I get them all out? What? I can absorb it from here? Please insert remain receiving G-spot crystal. Oh. Going.
It sucked it up. All right, so we got fire crystal. What's that one? Oh, that's another light. All right, now we're gonna have radioactive crystal. Are you calling them G-spot crystals because they're hard to find? No, just because it's funny. <laughs> I, I've been doing it since the beginning of the game. <laughs> oh, because they're hard to find. I get it. <laughs> yeah, I always got to find them, and they're usually hard to find. Except these ones were just were just here. So we got light, radiation, and fire. Uh, do I have another one just for fun? Oh. We don't need this. We won't be needing this. I need to fire this this window. That's why I went to get the fire, but I couldn't. We'll put that right there. Oh, baby. I can't do armpit farts, but I can do hand farts. <laughs> Put that right there. All right, here we go. I mean, Harry, this is not good. Not good at all. You've been sent to the dark sun dimension. It's classified by Delta as the most dangerous world we've ever discovered. Yeah, that's Look at that why we need to run through it as fast as possible to the rift on the other side of the temple. Maybe it'll send us directly to the Atlas. It says in the portal operator's manual that before activating the interdimensional gateway, I have to make sure it's night on the other end. Because in the light of day... Yes, yes, the local sunlight is deadly. Lucky for us, Harry's inside some building. It doesn't affect the plan. We still have to get to Atlas. Harry, I've been here a dozen times. If you listen to me, you'll survive. If there's a thing your friend here is good at, it's panicking. <laughs> My mini fridge has been open for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Since I started the stream. You gotta like cup your hand. Uh, I used to be able to do it. I'm probably too fat now. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so we're in the... So here's the dark sun. It seems like I'm getting irradiated. Uh, what do we need? I can't go this way. Do I need to shoot that with some kind of energy? There's another portal over there. It probably goes to my office. Okay. I need a generator to open this door, but I can't get this one. Energy source. F oh. Oh, I need to find something I can stick in that. I can stick in that door uh, to keep it open. see anything obvious. Can I use this? Uh, 
This probably isn't going to work. No, it just closed all the way anyway. Okay. I don't know what... I don't know what. What do I do in the dark sun dimension? I have an idea. Ah, damn it. This thing's gonna be in my way. I was gonna go get the graviton stuff from the mushroom and then go over there and fly myself over. But I gotta come through here. And I can't shut that thing off. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on a tick. I'm gonna shoot that. Is this gonna kill me? Yeah. Okay, so that didn't seem to work. Let's try a radiation crystal. I think I need to like break that that big crystal so I can get through. I don't know. Oh. Oh, it's doing something. It's definitely doing something, but what's it doing? That's so cool. Oh, it, it closed that and it opened this. Oh. <gasps> oh no. Oh baby, oh baby. Oh no! Oh, I'm out. Oh no, I'm gonna die over here. Oh no, I'm gonna die over here. Oh wait, does this, does this keep it out? Please stay out. Oh shit. Okay. Okay, I'm doing stuff. It's just taking me a while. To Dark Sun visitors. I am putting a summary to make sure that all visitors to the Dark Sun dimension understand where they are and what safety precautions are worth following. One. There is no stationary delta base in this dimension. There are only mobile camps and research outposts, outposts. Therefore, your safety is your responsibility. It's also your responsibility that if you don't want to see any ads, that you need to subscribe. And you can do that for $5 or you can do it for free by connecting an Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. Um, but if you think you're going to wait and try to get gifted a sub, then it becomes someone else's responsibility to gift you a sub. Uh, so you'd be, you wouldn't have to see ads and you could also join my private satisfactory server. Uh, I'm just going to run a 60 second ad break because I need to get done here soon. And that'll shut off pre-roll ads for the next 20 minutes. Here's the ad break now. Oh, hold on. It's not working. 
Oh man, that sucks. Engine removal 101. Okay, so there's a truck connected to the back of this car. And the truck is pulling the car out. They added dinosaurs to Noah's Ark children's book. No way. Oh my. And this, whoops. <laughs> and this thing right here, well, this is the engine, but what the wheels are and the engine are connected to is called the subframe or the cradle the engine cradle that's how you remove an engine and transmission on a lot of newer front wheel drive cars is you disconnect everything and that engine cradle and then you have the car on a lift and you lift the car off of it and it sits on the ground and these are actually the shocks and struts too. All that came off. That's awesome. God, what is going on? Oh my God. Oh my God, what is going on? What is going on? Bro took the car out of the engine. Well, obviously, dinosaurs weren't weren't on Noah's Ark, or else they'd be here today. God killed all the dinosaurs with the flood. <laughs> Actually, don't Christians not believe in dinosaurs? Two, the environment in the dimension is hostile. There is an energy parasite living in the star around which the planet you are now you are on now revolves. The parasite uses the star's rays as a weapon. Its purpose is not clear, but they are lethal to almost every known life form. We can't pinpoint the nature of the phenomenon. We prefer to assume it's a na natural, it's of natural origins. The very thought that someone could turn the sun into a killer of all life through technology is terrifying. Energy parasites? That sounds like a human. Humans are energy parasites. We're sucking all the oil and coal out of the planet to turn it into energy so that we can sell it to the world. Dinos were absolutely on the ark. Well, chickens and alligators. Chickens were T-Rex T -rex in their past lives. The unicorns got the wrong time in directions to the ark they left without them there are traces of civilization and the military encounters that occur on the planet exploring the dark sun dimension is very important because even what we have been able to decipher and understand about the civilization that once existed here speaks of its gigantic superiority to human humanity in terms of technology. Four, to summarize all of the above, during daylight hours, do not leave the shadow. Try to stay indoors. 
even if those doors are ruins of buildings or the alien civilization of the alien civilization be extremely careful when coming into contact with technical and other artifacts you find given that there has been a military conflict here it is possible that a number of them may be dangerous to humans as well stay safe stay in the shadows dr keen the head of the sun dark sun exploration division they're also a bird that is almost extinct that was alive back then. It has insane jaw strength and can bite the head of anything with e off anything with ease. What's happening? What happened? What did that do? Oh. This is the orange. Oh, and there's blue over there. What do I do with it? I don't know what to do with it. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get back. <sighs> I don't think I can make it back. Oh, what's that? Can you do something? Okay, it seemed to react to the blue. I can't get it from here. Alright, I'm going to try to make it back. I don't think I can do it. Okay. Ah! No, I tried to... I jumped! But it didn't jump. I would have made it. Oh. Why didn't it jump? Oh, that was weird. Dude, what if I was stuck over here for the rest of the game? Jump, 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 jump. I don't have any green. Why am I coming out? Am I just going to have to time this perfectly? That's so weird. Okay, so how about this?
Does this do something? No. Does this do something? I'm kind of stuck over here. That sucks really bad. Did I do it? I did it! Oh, no way. No way. No way. No way, bro. And told me I'm home. Get to Harry's apartment. office. And you even have a sauna. He didn't tell you a lot of things. For example, he didn't say that you'd open a portal to an armed task force from a parallel world that would kill half of Delta's staff. I thought it was some kind of mistake, but Harry, Harry, did you really cause this? Believe it or not, that's exactly what he did to you. Let's see if you remember the password to your own terminal. Look at you. Thoughtfully leaving a clue. Except since you don't remember shit, the clue doesn't tell you a thing. There's a clue? What's the clue? Oh, look at this. This is my whole living quarters. I got a sauna? I got some fire? I got a friggin' sauna, man. Dude, this is cool. Why can I see the moon? <laughs> G glass prototype. Some more crystals. Portable energy manipulator. Yep, I got one of those already. My diary. 15-3-2023-2032. Sorry. A perfect day for a new start. Okay, Harry, let's talk this through. You've never kept a diary before, so you're probably screwing up, especially since you're drunk as hell. But you and I, Harry, we need to talk about this. Remember that day, Harry, when I remember the day and the circumstances... Uh, Eugene Defoe called today. One of your two true friends, maybe even your only friend. He called to tell you that Grace had filed for divorce. He found out through some fellow in the legal department. Don't worry, Harry. They won't let her sue you for everything. That's true, Harry. What's to worry about? She is not taking everything from you. Especially because without her and Christy, you're nothing. No one 
can't get anything from nothing. No one can't get anything from nothing, <laughs> okay? Delta is one big abyss of corporate culture vacuum. Indifference and remorseless loyalty with a few shiny lights of brilliant ideas on it. Abyss doesn't care how often you see your daughter or how your loved ones suffer or how you feel about it all. Speaking of bright ideas and real friends, remember what Mason told you a month ago? Don't worry, Harry. As soon as we finish 747, you can get Grace and Christy back and live happily ever after with them. All you have to do is activate the device and a new life will open up for you. A moment after, <coughs> Harry, I remind you, he denied you to leave the perimeter. He refused to let you see your family. Literally isolated you from any chance to make things right. Is that what real friends do? Grace was right about him and about me. Now all I have to do is hold on to the 747 like it's my only plane ticket to a happy tomorrow. You know what, Harry? Let's make it a tradition. Every time you get drunk, keep a diary. That's a good thing to stick to. Better than watching porn or walking to the edge of an island and staring into the abyss waiting for a giant centipede. Not exactly a healthy behavior, Harry. So let's make a rule. When you're drunk, you go to the diary. 21532. <clears throat> a perfect day for questions. Okay, Harry, I'll remind you of the context. Today you celebrated that the 747 is a month away from launch. The device is now operational on paper. The power supply problem is solved and not just a paper. You know that very well. Bye bye, uninhabited dimensions. You're going into oblivion. It's about 200 feet underground and it's huge. So much work has been done on your part and Alex's and Mason, of course. Speaking of Alex, where is she? Why hasn't she been here? All the mean jokes, the humiliation, the doubts that I can handle. But I did. Where did she go? Mason joked that she'd done her part, which is doubly odd because a couple days ago she was telling me to shut the project down seems like mason's always kept his main cards close to his chest i understand some of the principles of the device alex understands others harry it's about time you asked yourself what you were building all this time and now drunk again you realize Vaguely, it's a lot like a bunch of these are separated by periods <laughs> like and now drunk again. You realize vaguely at a subconscious level that you don't know shit about this thing. Mason said something about <clears throat> reality taking shape and becoming real through the effort of thought. God simulator, huh? That's what worries me, whether the mind of man is capable of becoming equal to the mind of God. Mason says it's the road to happiness, but even if it is, how do we know how to be happy? If we did, surely our world wouldn't be so far from perfection. That's timely philosophy. <laughs> philosophizing Harry you know you should have thought of that before when you had Grace and Christy maybe Alex is right and I'm just too weak to be a scientist or maybe Mason's right and I'm just the right guy or Grace is right and I've lost myself or Eugene's right who keeps telling me that it is all about trying to be a good person another day <coughs> Just so perfect day. 
Jeez, man. What, Harry? You've done it, huh? It's nice of you to honor your own tradition and keep a diary again. You can also congratulate yourself for only getting drunk for the third time last year. That's the end of the good stuff. It was meant to be this way, I guess. You go out to meditate in a dimension where no one can touch you. You watch the wind turbines at work and listen to the soothing sounds of the waves. Thinking about where to book a hotel for a family vacation, if only this family reunion idea will work for you at all. And then a complete stranger in a diving suit comes out of the water, a guy out of nowhere. Harry, we need to talk, he says in a very serious manner. I'd say no, but that's not your style, is it, Harry? How... How are you going to live with what this man told you? That Alex tried to stop Mason and shut down the 747. That the arrest of the director of Station 51, Dave, what's his name, were all connected. But that's just for starters. Let's talk about this. When you were working on 747... <clears throat> What did you imagine? Uh, a safari to a perfect world for billionaires? Like, you know, they go there, they see what perfect is, and they start making it happen back home on Earth? If that's what you thought, Harry, you didn't know Mason very well, because that's not what he had in mind. According to that guy... The, ide the idea is that you could send one or two people through. Sounds nice. Except he forgot to mention that the amount of quantum energy released in the process would be catastrophic. Good thing there are guys like my mysterious stranger who can make things right. All I have to do is open a portal. He gave me the coordinates or get someone to open a portal. And from there, they'll take care of everything. So what are you going to do about it? We're three days away from launching the 747. We could slip the coordinates to Eugene. He trusts me. We can let my new buddy's friends in. They call themselves Alt-4. I've been digging through the DSOO archives. There's mention of some kind of multiverse peacekeepers. Like an interdimensional police force, huh? I can only imagine what that will take care of everything thing would look like. But that would be betraying Mason. How am I supposed to know what Alt-4 is anyway? Who says the guy's telling the truth? Who says the archives are correct? Maybe they're a rival company from another dimension. Perhaps everything is possible now. Honestly, I don't know what I believe anymore. But looking at Mason, the way he talks, I can't say I don't have doubts about 747. Well, one thing's for sure, without betraying Mason, or using Eugene, or causing a disaster on Earth-42, you're not getting out of this. And you, Harry, you're going to have to clean up whatever shit you choose to do. <clears throat> we did it. Okay. I am going to take a look and see how much of this game is left. All right. So I was... So when I started, I was, or started today, I was about here. And now we are in my office. Um, here's the big crystal. Uh, 
Oh, we're going to get one of those here. Okay, so I've still got... <laughs> so, in the two and a half hours I've been playing this game, in this video, I've progressed about... 20 minutes, 25 minutes. So 25 minutes in this video of the full game took me two and a half hours. YouTube, Facebook, and Reddit to face lawsuits for potentially radicalizing Buffalo mass shooter. What's up Malik? My stylus is coming tomorrow. Can't use it until Friday. Why? Because you don't have the... The laptop? Or wait, no, you, oh, you ordered the laptop, but you didn't get it yet. So I have, oh no, sorry, I was wrong. 30, 40, 40. Okay, no, this, this here, from the hand on the bottom to the end of the where the video is was more like 45 minutes. I've got 20 21 minutes of this video left, which means I should be able to finish it in about two more hours. So that means I'm not going to do it tonight. <clears throat> and that means that I'm going to call it a night. I got to get to like an auto save though. Um, so that means that since tomorrow's Wednesday, uh, my family is leaving again. They're leaving tomorrow and they won't be back till Friday, I think. So that means since tomorrow's Wednesday, which used to be satisfactory day, which means longer stream day, that I'm going to play Pacific Drive because I'll have a little more time than normal. Uh, laptop is coming Friday. Damn, as soon as as soon as I come. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I've been playing for two and a half hours. So yeah. Uh, I want to get to. I want to get to a save. Where did this go? Oh, the sauna. Except, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, I'm supposed to find the password. And she said that there's... There's a hint somewhere, but I don't see no hint. I see this lady. So this lady said, look at you, thoughtfully leaving a clue, except since you don't remember shit, the clue doesn't tell you a thing. But I don't see a clue. Does anyone see a clue? I mean... I can't read these. All right, you know what I should have done? I should have just looked on this video of what the code is because I don't see no clue. Oh, wow. I already went past it. Oh, that's what's over there.
Okay, so now we're in the office. Oh, wait, what? Oh, wow. That was back. Oh, no. Here we go. This is where they first went into the office. <clears throat> All right. What? Maybe I didn't go back far enough. Oh, here we go. Here we go. 1503. So that's one of the dates from the diary. 15 3 But why? See, how would I know that that's the password and not this date or this date? I don't know. I don't know. I don't I don't like that one. I didn't get it. Um Holy crap, man. I just been reading for the last half hour. Stop being a dick. Uh, I'm not going to read all of those today. Open door. There. We got to autosave. It just did it. Oh, jeez. Debating whether I want to take Friday off and then work Saturday or just work through and enjoy the weekend. Eh, so if you took Friday off, or, yeah, if you took Friday off, then you'd have to work Saturday, and then you'd get Sunday off, and then you have to work Monday? Eh, I would just work, I think, yeah, I like to have more than one day off in a row, I guess, I don't know. I don't know. Alright, I gotta go to bed. I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been, I'm up way too late, and I even considered not streaming tonight because... I didn't sleep much last night, but I did it anyway, and then I stayed up late anyway. So, uh, we need to get you some speed reading classes. I We need to get me some new glasses. My glasses broke, like, over a year ago now, and I don't have vision insurance, so... And I'm not going to do it now because I need to save the money that I have to get my house going. Yeah, I'm going to, I mean, really all it needs to have the, the side, the, the earpiece soldered back together, I guess. I don't know. I could just get some new ones too, but then I'd have to have a, an exam cause it's been a very long time since I've had one. So, so I'll be back tomorrow. Like I said, I'm home alone. Re I only wear glasses when I'm reading or looking at the computer. I don't need them to drive. I don't need them for anything else. But the print in this game is very small. So it's hard. So I'm going to be home alone tomorrow. I'm going to come home. I'm going to eat. I'm going to shower. And I'm going to get on here and I'm going to play Pacific Drive. Because I will have extra time tomorrow. And lately I found that that game takes a good three hours, if not four hours, 
to complete a run. So, uh, I, uh, before I started, I had a, a meeting with my, uh, realtor and showed her my application and the things that I needed to finish still. One of them, we had to have to get a hold of the bank to give me a letter or a certificate or something. Uh, the other two, I need to watch like 50 videos. They've got like this, they've got all these videos on their website that they want you to watch so you understand how it works. And I have to watch them all. And the website keeps track of which ones I've watched and which ones I haven't. And then when I get done, I'll get like a certificate of completion. And then I upload that to the application. There's not really a way to fake it out. So I'm just going to have to sit here and watch all these videos. Um, one of these days, probably this weekend. S stupid. Like, I understand if I was doing this all by myself, it'd probably be a good idea to watch all those videos and figure it out. But I've got a realtor. She she just tells she tells me all the stuff. I don't need to know the stuff. She tells me the stuff. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go. Thanks so much for hanging out tonight, everybody. I really do appreciate it. Uh, and I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully sometime between 7 and 7.30. As long as I can get home and get some food in my mouth and get cleaned up and get going. All right. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks again for being here. I, uh, I come here to hang out with you guys because I'd rather do that than... I, I, would, I would much rather hang out with you guys than... my alternative here <laughs> especially right now so thanks for being here thanks for listening to me uh take a trauma dump all over you i guess i didn't do it tonight but it'll happen again i'm sure i'm sure i'll have more to say eventually so all right have a good night guys i will talk to you tomorrow later guys Night night baby daddy Thank you.